So most people believe that a professional trader is determined by how old a particular trader is or how much a trader is making of the market whereas in this case of senior guys it's a different thing entirely and this is because a professional trader can't be judged based off his age i mean you can see a 60 year old or even 50 or 40 years old trader trading the forex market whereas just started let's say a few months ago or one year ago but because he's matured or you see that he's old definitely see that oh, this is a professional trader this is an ag buy in the making whereas a trader can be making thousands or ten thousands of dollars in the market and you guys will be like wow he's making a whole lot of money definitely he should be a professional trader and it might not be so it might just be that he's fortunate of large capital or might even be trading demo account or a paper account and these and more awards draw beginner traders into you know into the forex market when they see people flashing off massive profits or some flashy cars and that's why in this video guys i want to make everything different than daily guys i want to reveal to you guys some of the secrets that makes a professional trader in 2024 so the first tip that makes a professional trader or that is going to be making a professional trader in 2024 is going to be how you handle both profits and losses so guys let me quickly share you guys the story guys i was trading last week and um, i kind of like made two losses or let's say let's say one loss yeah and a break even so i took a break even on monday and then on tuesday i took a loss and of course i posted all the signal on both my free um telegram group and of course on my discord mentorship group and then after taking that particular loss i kind of told him that until monday that i'm going to be trading and I'm sure many were surprised because they were like, is it because of one loss dips just left the market? And whereas me, I was seeing another thing different. Like I was seeing a different thing entirely. I wasn't even looking at the particular loss I took. I was looking at how market conditions has been reacting and how market actually played me in the forex market. The major point I'm trying to make of this is not about me, you know, neglecting my loss, guys. It's about me paying attention to the market condition instead of me, you know, treating my emotions treating the emotions based on the loss i make and this is one of the mistakes a lot of beginner traders are making in the forex market so when they take a particular loss you know they are focused and they are more like they're more concentrated on the loss they make i mean they'll be looking at the minus 80 dollars minus 200 dollars or minus a thousand dollars if that you just you know they just lost in the forex market instead of paying attention to some of the mistakes they actually make how the market condition reacted or what was even the reason that the trade eats your stop loss instead of taking your thick profit? Now, going to how you can handle profit as a professional trader, a lot of traders handle profit in different ways, guys. Some get super excited that they start posting their profit, you know, they start posting their massive win. I'm not saying posting win is bad, guys, but as a professional trader, guys, one of the best way that I see traders and doing profit will be marginalizing your capital, guys. So when you take a particular profit, guys, you then check your account balance and the um, next thing you should be targeting is to go for a next trade. What you want to do on the next trade, how much you want to be risking when you're taking that trade. I'm not saying you should trade that part, that same deal, take another trade that same deal. No, you might take another trade in another week or another day or when you see a good setup in the market. But after taking that profit, guys, don't get too excited. Don't start jumping up or start posting profit everywhere. All you just want to do is just, you know, future. Let's look at the future plans, guys. Check how much you're going to be risking on your next trade and how much, you know, you're targeting for that particular trade. Instead of, you know, just jumping into excitement. And at the end of the day, when you want to take the trade another day, you, are, you didn't even make any plans. You just jump into the market and then boom, you might just lose all the profits that you initially made for the previous trade. So that's how I believe traders can handle both profits and losses as a professional trader in 2024. So the second thing guys that you need to consider if you want to be trading like a professional trader in 2024 guys will be to build capital first. I'm sure you guys must have had this from a lot of traders to you guys. Building capital is very necessary and one way that you can do that in 2024 guys is to get a profit account that is if you are struggling with capital guys so at this point guys i'm not promoting any profit or something guys i'm just you know trying to be very sincere with you guys profit is a way to build capital in 2024 guys since there are a lot that is offering you know lowest prices i mean there's a lot of competition guys in the profit industry so you can get 
a large account size for a small amount guys that's if you're struggling with capital so building capital first is very necessary for you to become a professional trader because you know it doesn't only help you you know get room to trade more in the market it also gives you you know that confidence that you know you don't have to actually aim for a whole lot of price movement for a whole lot of pips before you get the profit that you are that you want to attain for a particular week or a particular day or a particular month guys so once you get that capital phase trust me guys sometimes you might just even get into the market and say 30 pips is enough i mean i'm not looking to begin you know, getting 100 pips or 60 pips once i get my 20 30 pips I'm fine, guys. You might never trade for that particular week. You might just jump into the next week because what you have a large capital. Let's say you have like a 10k account. Once you make a thousand dollar in a particular day, I mean, you are cool with that. See, the next week, guys, you place another trade, make the thousand, and you might never trade for the whole month again until the next month. Unlike beginner traders that are struggling with hundred dollar accounts, they're struggling with fifty dollar accounts. I mean, they want to be flipping their account or the likes. So, I'm very sure you guys understand how building your capital first is very necessary if you want to trade like a professional trader in 2024 the third one guys which is going to be technical analysis now we're going into the chart checking out you know how we can actually technicalize our words <laughs> our trading skills in 2024 so this is going to be based off you know your not only technical skills guys but also your psychology which brings us to the sponsor of this video guys so most of the time traders usually neglect trading news or trading cpi or trading nfp in the market so sometimes they get into the trade and neglect you know that there is a news at 10 o'clock the platform i use to check any news event or fundamentals is facebook guys you guys can check them out they are very reliable and you know i get a lot of economic news based off any current cpi i'm going to be trading for a particular time and what and all the details you need about that particular news guys so do wait to check out Facebook guys and you can click the link in my description to download the app or what check them out on their website one way we can improve our technical skill or broaden our technical knowledge guys is going to be by backtesting guys and not only by backtesting guys take note of what you actually saw when backtesting so guys to broaden these guys i'll just quickly like give you guys an example of what i actually do so let's take for instance today is a um, monday or let or tuesday in the market all i do is just draw a table on my notes guys and just you know pinpoint that today is monday and then i start doing my back testing that same monday so what are the things i watch out for i watch out for my trading sessions when back testing so what happened on this particular time zone on new york session what happened was there a massive drop on gj or a massive sell on gj before the market kind of like you know reverse towards a particular direction i jot that i jot that in my jota and of course make sure that you know that plan is towards monday and then when tuesday come i do my back testing again and check out what happened during the opening of either london or new york session i jot that out too there was a sell before market to reverse towards the upside massively so these and more are what make traders professional traders in the forex market so do it well to take note of all these tips guys and i'm very sure that if, if you implement them in the forex market definitely guys you should become a professional trader or trade like a professional trader in 2024 and of course all of us will definitely be profitable at the end of the day so do it well to like share and subscribe to my channel guys and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video